And we're back with episode 3 of Caveopolis, and I've been doing a bit of AFK uh, resource grinding, and I've also increased the number of uh, furnaces that we've got, and I've smelted a load of ingots, so we've got a couple of stacks of copper, some mixed, some tin. Uh, I've made a load of bronze off camera. I uh, haven't chased anything with the setup whatsoever, apart from adding these two pipes and a chest to capture the output with an extractor module in there. Um, otherwise everything as it was before, because I've been AFK for so long, so that builds up. We've actually filled up this drawer full of wood, and we've started on the spare drawer uh, to burn a load of sticks. Uh, because that filled up and everything stopped, so... That's that. I made an extra chest just here for bits and bobs. And so that top chest now is for our ores and gems. Uh, that one's just got various things in it. And uh, that has also got the same. So what are we going to do today? First and foremost, let's have a look at where we got up to. So we completed the first ores apart from the crafting calculator. And we opened up the organic producer chapter. Now this whole chapter is is kind of optional, but it isn't. You really do want to make the organic producer because that gives you access to the other wood. So rather than burn the azalea wood in the eroder to get oak, you can just change these to oak. So we do want to do that. So let's have a look at the organic... producer and um, it's pretty much going to be made oh right we need wheat um and i haven't grown any at all now we have seeds so that's okay and we have bone meal so we just need a seed i haven't got any dirt left some bone meal and we're gonna have to go upstairs aren't we uh, i need a tree to turn a block unless there's a block already turned no um, I've also fixed game sounds, so you should hear those now. Uh, sapling. Whereas before they were coming through my microphone from the speaker, so yeah, sound should be fixed and hopefully they're not too loud. Now, I did notice on the other playthrough that I did of this pack that um oh, to bring the hoe you don't need water source blocks to grow crops although they will grow crip quicker but they are not necessary and that's our fourth and that's all we needed yep four so we can go back down and make that now Right then, we're going to need some uh, bronze probably. Uh, a lot more of those. Some wood, because it's all chests and hoppers and, you know, usual stuff. So how many have we got? One alloy mixer, which is two of those, so we want four basic barrels. So we need eight of these. Let's make a load of hoppers. So, hoppers. Basic barrels. Um, was it one custom or two? Uh, two, not custom. Um, advanced barrels. Yeah, there we go. Two of those into an alloy mixer. And then that into the organic producer simple enough once you've got the resources that is now the organic producer doesn't require power i believe uh, let's plonk it down just there and have a look no it does actually tell you in the quest 
come used to make plants sapling and seeds so for saplings uh, let's have a look it's just water eight moss balls and a sapling so eight moss balls and a flowering sapling so let's make a few let's make Oh, let's use a stack now this needs water so what we'll actually do is pick that up and put it on the um where can we put it where it's not interfering should be able to put it there oh no that's interesting why is that water trying to go into there hmm we don't want that so this must have recipes to do with the ore forming water oh no no doesn't we must just accept it but anyway let's make some oak saplings we can disconnect that pipe and it's not an issue so once you've created the oak sapling you turn that into the dark oak and you turn the dark oak into spruce and that covers those three so to get the dark sapling it's just an oak sapling and eight uh, more moss balls so let's grab some more moss balls uh, wrong chest so there's our eight saplings that should complete that quest we'll turn half of those into dark oak <laughs> Now we need four dark oak saplings to grow a dark oak tree, I believe. So we're just going to have to halt there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll take half of the oak saplings, turn those into dark oak, turn those two dark oak into spruce ones. And that's those three complete and if we grab some bone meal we can nip upstairs and somewhere in the middle here it's a bit close to the edge maybe oh wow now i wonder how many saplings we're going to get back Oh, looks a fair few. So that was, uh, where have they gone? 12. That's great, that's okay. Let's see how many oak ones we can get back. And then spruce ones, they need quite a wide area at the bottom. Oh, we only got two. Let's grow another one. bit better right so that's given us uh, 5 12 and 6 uh, so the first thing I want to do is stop making azalea in here so let's take these out and we're going to go straight with oak now there's going to be no room in the storage drawers for any of the output so going to need to uh, get some more storage drawers made 
Make sure these are empty. At least there's one slot there that they can go into. So I'm not going to go any further because these drawers are full. The sticks will. Uh, the saplings, we've got four stacks of those. Um, we could take those out and let the wood go in. I don't know if we've got any other use for... See, we don't need water. We could compost them. Oh, we can turn them into... So there's eight, eight in a stick for sugar cane in here. We'll do that. Um, oh, I thought they had to be the right way around. Maybe that is the right way around. So I'll get some sugar cane. Uh, what else to, is on that other quest line? Uh, cactus, that might be useful if we can turn it into green dye that we might need later on. We can. So how did we get a cactus? That is... Oh, we don't have any flint. Uh, flint and green wool. Okay, we'll leave that for the time being. And then seagrass. Bone meal on a dirt block that is underwater. And collect it with shears. Or we can make it in here. Oh, oh. Can we not make it in here? Oh, that's used to make kelp. Right, okay. Not to worry. Right then, inventory tidy up time. Uh, we'll put the saplings in here. We don't need to carry those on us. And then we'll put the bronze, that's bronze, and the mixed back. So, right, we need some more storage drawers. We need a bit more oak logs, because obviously you can't make, um, well, we could erode it, I suppose, but that's not really necessary uh, to do. So that's the organic producer. It makes all these different items that are on here, so you can get the seeds and that from here. And this is important. You can make dirt. So it's dirt and green wool makes your first grass block. Uh, so that's worth noting. And that's how you get your grass. And then from that, you can bone meal grass and you'll get all sorts of the other stuff. So you'll get all your flowers and what have you. But for now, we're going to crack on. And we're going to crack on with a prismarine level. So we're going to dive del uh, delve deeper, further down. So for that, we're going to need some pickaxes. Oh, uh, tip from the Discord, if you press K, it will automatically compress the item that you're looking at. And I don't want to do that, I want to make a stone pickaxe. So you see there, durability 114 of 131. Uh, do we need actually need that? Yeah. So you can see without the advanced tooltips shown, it shows no durability on... I know you've got the bar, but it, it doesn't actually tell you the value. So if you do that, F3 plus H, you'll get the durability come up in the tooltip. Right, so let's just drop off that. And let's go a digging. Digging through Prismarine. We've got some torches, I believe. Yep. And once we've dug through Prismarine, you get to Dripstone. And we can dig through that. Although it sounds very much like it's a shovel. And what's through Dripstone? Look. Aha! We have our water level. Right. A uh, little tip for this, um, let's go back up. Is that enough to get a portal? Oh, it was just. Um, if you break some of this um, 
bright stone so let's um let's get a chunk of this bright stone oh oh yeah i took that block out so i could get access to that chest no worries not made a hole and you convert it back into the block uh let's get some more So remember, hover over, press K. Yeah, very useful. Thank you whoever gave me that tip. Saves crafting. When you get down to the water level down here. Oh, gone wrong here. You want to create a, a way back up so you can see. Now what I've found... Oh, what I did before is to use these blocks as a marker so you can find your way back up easily enough now you can go further down I believe when the cursor goes into a rectangle like that it lets you place underneath which is a mod sure how far down we can go that will place into that block right so what we want to do here is we want to remove these water source blocks just here so let's just do that and then remove the blocks again now that one will spill in but it's not a water source and then do the same underneath then that gives us should have broke that last Right, so when we're out on this water level and you're looking for the way back up, it's very well lit up. Now, we can't stay on this water long. We need the wetsuit. Uh, but that shows you that it's uh, quite an easy way to find your way back up. Um, I have attempted on the last playthrough to get down to the sand level. It's a long way down. Uh, I'm not 100% sure you can do it and survive. Uh, I think it's the sandstone level that's beneath not oh no no it is sand it is sand and then sandstone so you've got to be able to dig into the sand and then get into the sandstone and for science well here goes going straight down oh uh, not going to make it so we did make it down there but um we need to be able to dig off to the side and because it's sand it all falls on top of each other so you need to make it down into the sandstone level before you can create a lip so you could possibly do it without creating a wetsuit but it's a bit risky um let's go again why not for science eh? there's the sandstone level so we will come back up and you can just make it. I took one hit there. So sandstone is next. And then if we create a, a roof with, uh, we're going to have to do, oh, I could use the dripstone. We might get away with not leaving the wetsuit. In fact, we can do that now, can't we? All you got to do is create a little hole like so. Not mess it up. Break that, break that block quickly. And there we have it, our air pocket. Take that block out and put a bright stone in so we can see what we're doing. Right, so we made it down here. Now we can vein mine the sandstone. And if we vein mine off to the side, 
low enough so that the uh, oh that's nice little layer pocket there there we go and we're in let's get that sand we need a lot of sand right below the sandstone level I believe we have <coughs> either red sand or is it sandstone it's red sand okay so just block the water there uh, let's dig in a few more now you think yeah bob's but how are you going to get out well that's not really an issue you can always pull her up uh, but the other thing, of course, is we have our temp pad with us, so we can just portal back up. And once the portal is created, we don't need to go through the water layer again. Now, can I break this? I don't know how far we are. Oh, yes, we can. So we can break that as well. Oh, the water found its way in. Oh, that's because they're here, I think. Uh, no, it's because they're all sorts. Right, okay. Don't really want the water down here, that's all. See if we can't block it off. I think I've left too many holes. That's that side. Is that that side? Yeah, that'll do. Lovely. Uh, we'll put some light down here. Now this bitumen is important and it's what you need to be able to unlock the next level. Now I'm just a bit wary that somewhere down here is lava. Oh, it's lava's underneath the magma block, so we're okay there. Let's see how far down we can go. So this is red sandstone. Can we break this? We can. Now we're going to need a fair amount of this bitumen. So let's just grab a load. Ooh. <laughs> kind of weird when it does that. Uh, that should be okay there. I like that up there. Make good torches, these blocks. Even though I've got a handful of torches. Right. Um, don't know if we need this red stand, sandstone for much. So what I'm going to do here is just tunnel down underneath. See how far we can go down before we hit a block we can't mine. Oh, is that drop? Yeah, it does. Now, can I dig this? No. Right, okay. So, oh, what happened there? Oh. Sand moved again. Right, so we go down as far as basalt, so we need the uh, next unlock before we get there. I'm going to create a portal here. Uh, where's my temp pad? So right click, run the program, new location, and we're going to call this, what should we call this? We'll call this oil level. It's not actually oil, it's bitumen I think, but it'll do. And then we can go back home. And then we can go back anytime we want and we didn't need to build the uh, wetsuit which is great <laughs> right then so if we have a look at the quests now 
Uh, more rows here. Uh, that needs a unlock of, I think it's bitumen here. So all we need to do to get this bitumen is to erode the bitumen sand that I've just thrown in one of these chests. So if we just grab a stack of that. Now a uh, tip for you, bitumen sand can be used as fuel and it smelts 12 items, whereas the bitumen that it turns into can only smelt 8. And you only get one for one in the eroder. So don't turn all your bitumen red sand into bitumen and use it for fuel. You might as well just burn the red sand itself. Now I'm not sure how many of these we need. Uh, looking at that for don't think we need it for anything else. And there's our four. And now we can create our... Well, let's let's follow the uh, quest rather than ju jump in front like that. I was going about to jump in front. Oh, in fact, it is here. <laughs> it's there anyway. So we need uh, four red sandstone. Um, we need the base card first, and that is our tier one, and that's that chapter completed. So we can now get nickel, iron, lead and redstone. All we need is another ore extractor with this ore extractor tier 1 card in. Now I'm going to change the way that we've, we've done this. So I'm going to make it modular uh, in, in a way that they are lined up all the way down here. And I, if I want to increase one particular step, I can do that along this way. Um, so I'm going to take the advanced barrel and leave that there. I'm going to take the alloy mixer and put them over here and then put the ore extractors over here and then finally put the fragment combiners over here and then we can just add an extra one on the end. Uh, to do that I think what we're going to do is move off pretty pipes and move on to these pipes. Um, while I was sat here AFK I did notice that even these retrieval modules they, they still try and overstack. You'll see at the minute it's not pulling anything in because I took the um stone uh pebble out uh, because they were trying to overfill and spilling out everywhere into the world whereas these other pipes they won't do that and i also want to change this i don't want this anymore what we're going to do is we're going to um igneous extrude into one storage drawer and then from the storage drawer we're going to feed the advanced barrels and alloy mixers uh but again using the other pipe system um these pipes because they don't have a problem with over sending the magic pipes. If there's no room in them, then, you know, they won't send. So these are made using pretty pipes and bronze. Hence why I made all that bronze. Uh, we don't really need that. Let's put this in here. And with that, no, that can go in there. Um, yeah, we'll do a three. So let's make eight of those. Now we will need the wrench for this. Uh, that's two, two lead I need. Oh, is that lead or tin? Oh, it's lead. Right, okay. We haven't made any of that yet. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to need to make some lead before I can change this system. Now the easiest thing to do here is to remove this ore extractor and put this one in. And then it will make the new ores and I just need, what was it, one, two, two lead. Two lead and sticks. Now these should come into here and... Um, let's just, we're going to have to remove one of these. Oh no, 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 it only makes four, it makes redstone, lead, um, iron and nickel, if you remember. So that will be the four slots that we have spare in this fragment combiner. And then they will get combined and shoved up here. Uh, we can't do much with these pipes without the wrench. Uh, you need to wrench the uh, in uh, outputs. 
um, sort of extracts. So prismarine. Now we need to convert this. I think you erode it, don't you? Yes. Now the prismarine, uh, I think, actually makes the water suit. Oh, where's it gone? Yeah. So you'd, you'd erode the uh, prismarine into shards and then craft that with the bright shards to make the crystals. Combine that with with string to make the marine fabric. But we don't need to do that because we've uh, bypassed that level. Um, the other things on here are pretty pipes, crafting terminals and stuff. We'll get to those uh, later on. Um, just going to grab one of these so we complete the quest. Put them back. There's our first iron ingot or iron dust or chunks or whatever you call them. There he is, raw iron. So which one was missing? So we've got nickel, lead, oh, redstone. I need all these down there to complete the quests. So which one did I not pick up? The lead one. I need a lead fragment. Yep, there's our lead fragment. And there's our raw lead. So we, we get down to iron here, and this changes a lot of things. We can build a lot more things with iron. Uh, but again, <laughs> um, to create the alloys, such as Constantin and uh, Invar later on, um, it, it's too... Two ingots to make a dust. So we wanted two lead ingots, didn't we? We need more lead fragments. Now, the um, our extractor upgrade tier 1 actually uses 200 millibuckets. This one uses 100. This one uses 200. Uh, we'll probably find that as they go up, they're more likely going to use more and more. Uh, let's do uses on. Yep, 300 for that one. 400 for that one. So as you scale these up, you're going to need to make more ore forming water. So you're going to need to um, increase, which is why I want to do this modularly. Uh, let's create a block for that one there. Um, it's four of these and a stone, isn't it? Do I have any stone? Don't. Steal a stack of you. No, it's not. You make mossy blocks. Uh, this one. Oh, stones. I was almost there. Can never remember these recipes. Just fill that hole in. We're probably going to remove it anyway, because we'll need to get pipes underneath. Right, did we get a lead? Yes, we did. Right, so we just need two lead. So we can create some more pretty pipes as well, uh, which I need glass for. Now we come back with a load of sand, so we can just smelt a stack of sand while we create the wrench. So pretty pipes, I believe, uh, is that? Yes, yes. Um, then multiples of three with bronze. Let's do eight of those. What about fluid ones? They're the fluid pipes and bronze. Wow, a lot of bronze to switch to this.
So how many fluid pipes do we need? We would probably need more fluid pipes and item pipes, to be honest. So let's go with uh, nine lots, I think. We've just got to watch our bronze usage. Um, no fluid pipes. Right, and now we can start removing things. So let's take that out. Now, unfortunately, we're going to lose the uh, fluid out of these, uh, but that can't be helped. So let's just break those. And that one. And I'm not going to repeat what I did before and, and lose our lava source. <laughs> well, I hope I'm not. Right, so let's get rid of all these pipes, and all these pipes. Uh, they vein mine quite nicely, as you can see. Uh, we'll block that off. Wrong block, I know. And then we need to move these three. Oh. Oh, it's all the bits. Uh, all the bits. Bits of shards in there. Right. So. How many is in there? 21 stacks and 12 stacks. So let's put all these ones in here. And then we can get rid of that one. Let's make an axe, shall we? And we're not going to be running around with um, punching stuff all the time. Put some tools in here that we're not going to use. Uh, so we've got all the pretty pipes back as well, which is which is great stuff. So, right then, just here, this requires pebbles so pebbles are going to come up here and what i'm going to do is if we need more igneous extruders we're going to put them in a row here <laughs> without uh, wrecking our lava source that we're going to have in this one uh, and then all we need to do is put more advanced barrels down this row with lava underneath so the igneous extruders will work and the advanced barrels will work and all those will go into I've created an axe and not using it. So the Ignis extruders will go into um that's the one with the pebbles in into there. So let's do that first. Now I'm gonna break these because I want to keep this I mean that that's acceptable because this does actually use pebbles but I want to keep it uniform so um, going across here will only go into the storage row uh, so our next in the line would be the alloy mixer and um, we're going to go two gaps so I can have row of pipes down here row of pipes down here and break them in the middle if I need to and then two more to the ore extractor and there doesn't need to be a two gap here because out of the ore extract it goes straight into the fragment combiner and for now did i pick up another, another chest i didn't did i uh shame i can't pick that up So for now, we can go into a double chest, but we will change this system. So that extracts into there. Um, this we will put back in the tier one. So that's an item extraction into there. This, um, actually we didn't need two gaps there, did we? We only needed one. 
Yeah. Well, if you're going to do it right, you might as well do it right. So one there, one there. Uh, we'll just have two pipe, two pipes there. This is temporary. We're not, we're not going to keep that. So that's an item pipe. This is a fluid pipe. And this is a fluid pipe, but that is only half because the other half is water, which is over there. Uh, let's put this back in here. So this doesn't require water, it only requires stone. Uh, this requires stone and water. So we need a way of getting that water into there. Uh, let's go around the back here. So fluid, fluid. Fluid, fluid, fluid. We need to disconnect that. Fluid and disconnect that. And disconnect that and into there. This doesn't require that fluid, only that requires water. All right. Find out. So that's going to have pebbles from there go in that's got water and lava and that requires pebbles so let's do our pebble section so that's going to go down but we're going to break that and we're going to extract from there and then we're going to come along the top here into this one now is that going to keep them both See, because the magic pipes and there's no actual items traveling, it should be able to keep up with those, those easily. Um, and that needs to extract into the drawer. And that won't oversend. Or it shouldn't oversend because there's nowhere to send stuff to. So it, it should just stop. So that's going to obviously fill that drawer up, which is almost full, actually. And... Um, oh, there we go. It went to 31 plus times 64, which is 32 stacks. So we need to look at the upgrades for these. Um, so that should all be working now. So that's sending the pebbles and the lava into there. That's sending the oil-forming water into there. And that's sending the bits into here, which we can take out of here now. Put back in here. And then those will extract once done into the double chest. Lovely. Right. Okay. So doing it this way, if we need more advanced barrels to create more lava, we just put one there and hook it up to um, that pipe for input and this pipe for output. If we need more igneous extruders, uh, that's a little bit of a problem, but what we're going to have to do is go underneath that row. Uh, and then we'll, I think the, the alloy mixer might be the first one because the, the, the this way, where's it gone? This ore extractor upgrade tier one uses 200 millibuckets of this ore forming water. And I'm pretty sure that one is not going to be able to keep up with that. We can put an upgrade in here to speed this up. Uh, but I've tried that with bronze and it didn't keep up. So... The alloy mixer is probably the first thing we're going to need. And that's also going to put a strain on our lava. So we may need more of those as well. Now then, to save a repeat of what I did last time just here, I think what I'm going to do is... Oops, not place a torch in the water. Which broke that water source. A uh, bucket. Do I have a bucket? No, no bucket. Right. 
Um, I'm going to have to remember to put the igneous extruder in before I uh, I put the lava source in this side. Uh, so yeah. Right then. Now that's done. We've got plenty of pipes now to to make the new pipes with. And we don't need those anymore. And we don't need that anymore. Let's put the prismarine in there. Uh, these can all go into that end chest for the time being. So that should work nicely for now. Has that got nowhere to go? Why has that got nowhere to go? Oh, there's two leads. No, two tins. How's that worked? Too cold. Hmm. I didn't think it did that. I thought it was clever enough to put it in the same stack. Hmm. Have to keep his eye on that one. Right, that's our modular system set up, and we can get rid of that chest now. And put our bright block back in the roof. Uh, let's create another igneous extruder. <laughs> I'm a bit wary about doing the same thing again, what I did before. So, um, is this the bronze block one? It is. It's the bronze block. Uh, I do have enough. All right, it's rather painless this time, so we can put that down first. Oh, don't forget we need the stone block underneath it. Uh, so it creates stone. I was going to pick that up then, but I won't. Then we need our, a bucket of lava. Should be able to do from within the water. There. And then we can simply connect that up and extract from that. And that's what I mean about making it modular. Uh, we can even come down this side as well if we need more. But I don't think we're going to need a, a huge amount of these igneous extruders. There might be a later way of making stone better. I'm not 100% not sure yet. Um, let's make another advanced barrel and put it on top of that lava source. So I'm not going to fry myself. So then we could just put that one there. Uh, disconnect that pipe, keep it uniform, and we're coming in from the top here. So that then creates lava, and to get that lava out, we simply hook up to that and extract. Uh, we didn't need two spaces here either. Oh well. Now then, why is that? not keeping up it used to keep up and make a surplus oh, i suppose it's making a surplus but very slowly yeah it is going up by 100 millibuckets each time i think this has the same tick rate as what this does Right, okay. So, alloy mixer next. We need another one of those. Uh, this pipe system's going to look a mess. It's going to look a mess. Mm. Just going to be four way pipes all the way down. I don't like that at all. I suppose we could have split it down the middle just to. That's the magic pipes, so doesn't really matter. So we definitely need the alloy mixer before we make another ore extractor because uh, this one is never going to keep up with two of these. Uh, I'm not even sure whether two is going to keep up. 
Right, and that's that. So you should both make things, it's not too bad. So we can put that there. Uh, this is going to require pebbles in, so we need to have the pebbles pipe in. And we're going to need to put our... Uh, no, that goes in the next stage. This is making the water, so we need... Right, this is where we need that pipe to go underneath. And why are we not getting... Oh, no, lava is this one, isn't it? Yeah, this is what I mean about these double pipes. But if we can just... We can just do um, do that just to make it look neater. It's not going to affect the pipes in any way. Uh, so that's more all forming water, and then we just need to extract that, and then that doubles it up. And that's what I mean by making modular like this. We can just keep going. This is going to bug me now. We didn't need to put two here. We didn't need to put two there. I might change that off camera. So if it comes back and there's only one gap here, you know what you know what's actually happened. It's bugged me that much that I've changed it. So that's now full. So we need another ore extractor for our tier two. So these recipes become easier if, as you know, as you're getting further along, especially if you create a a, a farm like that. So here, that should be the ore forming water going in. Correct. And that's all we need. We just need the where's it gone? Ore extractor module. And then we can extract from here. And we don't need another one of these because, as I said, that one creates um, five. This one creates four. So overall, this should all fit in. Apart from it doing that, this could be a pain in the neck. It, it didn't ever used to do this when I tried it. It always seemed to work. I suppose when they duplicate like that, so long as there's space for the other one to make in it, yeah... I don't know about this. These could really be doing with being a bit more intelligent, saying if the stack already exists to put it in, which I'm pretty sure that's what these did before they got piped out. Hmm. I think I might need to create another fragment combiner. I mean, it's not like the recipe is expensive. It's just a crafting table and eight of these uh, mixed stone ingots. So, uh, and, and all we can do is just break that pipe there. And then we can just join it back up to whatever our storage is going to be. I haven't decided yet, which is why it's just a chest at the minute. Now, how are these keeping up? So that's full of water. That's full of ore forming water. That is nearly empty. And that is almost empty. But well, this has only just started. So when we may need boosters in these. As long as these remain full which at the minute they are doing. But it depends if these are actually running out or not. Looking at that, that's creating a positive. Only by 50 millibuckets a time, but it's creating a positive. So while that's creating a positive, this one hopefully will be as well. So that was 150 out and 200 in. Yeah, so that is actually equal. Yeah, so it should be okay for now. But as I said, we can expand on this if we need to. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. Might end up with another um, fragment combiner just to play it safe. Right, um, let's just have a quick look at the quest. How far did we get? Right, so we need, didn't get to making iron or, or nickel, and we need a redstone block. Now, that redstone block is actually important. Do we have nine? Oh, we have exactly nine. Now, let's take some iron and nickel and lead. And we'll smelt these up. make that 
Now the reason uh, this is significant is because the block of redstone, I believe, is needed for another quest unlock somewhere else. I think it's this here. It unlocks the flux capacitor. Yeah, block of redstone. So that's the prerequisite for the flux capacitor. So you need to do that to unlock that quest. And of course there's a milestone one here, so uh, I'm pretty sure you have to do that. Uh, just grab some ingots and unlock the other quests. Oh, we already had the lead one, didn't we? Because we made the pipe wrench. Messy inventory, no worse. So then, uh, nickel and iron dust, and we know that's to create constantin. So let's just get uh, some even numbers. Now I think the constantan blend is equal. Yes, it is. And we need a block of it. So we need more than what we've put in here. Oh, how many does it make? Um, oh, that's weird. Oh, it's not iron, is it? It's copper. It's copper nickel. It's what I call copper nickel. Yeah. So we do need the nickel ones. And I, I think I have one copper dust, so I need two more. Uh, copper. Yes, I'm thinking it was iron and that's invar. Oh, it's not. It's actually like this. Makes two. Right, so we need quite a few more then. And that will complete this chapter once we've got these in. Oh, we can make an iron bucket as well. That's uh, that's going to be useful. And we also need to make invar, which is what, what was making the iron dust for. But we've, we need to get some more. Um, off camera, I'll leave this running off camera so we get resources. So I'm not simply just sat here waiting for resources to pop up. Uh, that would make for very boring videos. And that makes the block, and that should complete that chapter. Yep. So that was the Moros chapter that we've completed. Uh, pipes, we'll get around to that later. So we're going to stop here at the first power. Uh, I'm going to leave this running so we gather more resources up from this system. And don't be surprised when we return for episode four that there's only one gap in between those two. <laughs> so, uh, yep, this is Bob's signing off for now. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. <laughs>